Hello, I'm Ryan Kulenbeck from Seekin Vehicles, working here today down in Sector 111. Today we're going to initiate a series of videos on the topic of supercharging. Forced induction can be an exciting way to add performance to your car. <laughs> Goal is to take you through a series of videos with one released every month or so, detailing the, the, the various pieces of the system and how it all functions together. Uh, all the way through into the point where we go through system sizing and how the rest of the vehicle is, is affected by your choice to go to a supercharger. A little bit about my background, I spent six years with the High Performance Vehicle Operations Division within General Motors. Um, I was the powertrain integration engineer for both the 2-liter supercharged Ecotech and the 2-liter turbocharged Ecotech within the Cobalt and HHR families. Uh, following the powertrain integration role, I became a member of the advanced studies team for the performance division, uh, supporting the areas of forced induction as well as a couple others. I had the privilege of working on several vehicles, including the up-and-coming ZL1 Camaro uh, and a few others that are uh, still yet to hit the market. In our first video in the series, we're going to cover the basics of how a root supercharger functions. Um, we're going to go through all of the various components within the system and let you know what each one of them is attempting to do. After that, we'll move on to the second video in the series, which will cover supercharger sizing and how to pick the appropriate power adder for the, the desired power level that you're trying to achieve in your vehicle. Um, there's some math calculations associated with that as well as we'll go through a couple of examples between the MP62 and the TVS and a couple other things. Uh, finally, the third video in the series will cover all of the rest of the vehicle integration. What happens when you add these power adders to your vehicle or if you already have one of them, what happens when you modify it? Things such as the impact of cold air intakes, what they're actually doing, why it makes more power, how it can hurt the engine as well as help the engine, all the way to the cooling system impacts of adding as much more power, uh, oil cooling, all of those various topics, even down to uh, some details on exhaust temperatures and how that affects the durability of the downstream exhaust system. So stay tuned for these videos, and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the information below.